Hello, my friends. This is Post Production Pi, editor in chief for SRLounge.com. Welcome to another installment of our weekly Ordinary to Extraordinary Raw Edit featuring the SR Lounge Lightroom Preset System V5. Now, as always, we're going to be demonstrating how to create our effect using the preset system, but then we're going to be going through the actual developed settings just to help everyone understand what's going on behind the scenes with each look and effect. That way, everyone, no matter if you have the presets or you don't, you can benefit from watching this tutorial. If you're interested in learning more about the SR Lounge Lightroom Preset, that system, just click the link below in the description and it'll take you over to the SR Lounge store where you can read more. All right, so let's get started. Now in this video, we're going to be creating a nice little kind of stylized HDR portrait. So we're going to be showing you another use for these soft HDR portraits. This image that you see here, this is a shot of actually one of our friends. Uh, his name is Cameron. He used to actually be a football player and then he was a reporter for a while. This guy is very talented and uh, this is his lovely son right here. And they're doing a nice little shot and when Cameron called us up, he's like, look, I want to do a portrait, but I don't want it to be like every studio portrait that you might see. I want to have cool lighting. I want it to be really stylized and just have a lot of pop to it. So we thought, why don't we bring him in? We're going to set up a, a nice little uh, dual lighting system, or we actually have three lights in this. So we have two backlights that are kind of creating the rim or the edge lighting on each side of, of their person. And then we have this nice front parabolic that's kind of evenly filling their faces. A really nice overall look. And what we're going to do is kind of create a nice candied stylized HDR look for this portrait. Okay, so we covered how it was lit. Let's talk about how it was shot. So this is on a 5D Mark III. We're on a 2470 F2.8L Mark II lens, and I love the 2470 Mark II. I hated the Mark I, but this is an awesome lens. We don't generally use it for portraiture that often, or at least kind of close-up portraiture like this, but uh, when we do, we're always sure to shoot all the way in zoom to 70 millimeters because otherwise you're going to get a lot of distortion, especially when you're shooting this portrait aspect ratio. It was shot at 1 to 100 of a second at f4 at ISO 100. You can see the histogram. We have all of our detail contained within this single shot. We don't have a huge dynamic range, but uh, the HDR effect is going to create a really nice kind of over the top candied look. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit I just to toggle off the information. Let's also hit T just to close down the toolbar so we have a little bit more working real estate. Now, once again, we're going to flip through these different HDR presets. and I'm going to see what I like. And so I'm going up and down. The max and the med uh, the max and the heavy are kind of too much for my taste. I'm going to go down to the medium. And what we're going to do is after we've applied this, I'm just going to darken it up a little bit. Really, there's not too much else I'm going to do the image as far as the... Uh, uh, these global adjustments, everything else is going to be adjusting brushes. So again, our base presets for the most part are one click wonders. They're going to get you to an effect and they're going to be awesome. But uh, you, there, we always have the adjustment curves and everything else there for adjustments. And we're going to get into more advanced stylized effects soon. We're just kind of showing you, getting you used to the ropes. You know, like when you're first time in the ring boxing, I don't know if you guys box, but you know, we got to get you used to it. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's close this up. And what we're going to do is go over to the right side. We're just going to make a little bit of an adjustment to our exposure. Let's dial in the right white balance real quick before we do too much there. And uh, Cameron has very nice, lovely white teeth. So let's grab it right off his teeth. And look at that. Look how nice and white those teeth are. We get a perfect little uh, white balance reading right off them, at least close. OK, so I'm going to warm it up a little bit in the tint just because I want a little bit more of that warmth, uh, the kind of pink and yellow warmth, not just greens. So the greens are a little bit too much. All right, we're going to bring up the uh, temperature to around 4900. Again, I don't want to go too high with this. I want to keep it slightly on the cooler side. And so I'm leaving it about 500 degrees off of where that light kind of reads at. The light's really more around 54, 5500. I'm leaving it a little bit more on the cool side because I think it will work well with this effect. Now, what we're going to do from this point is go in and make some uh, local adjustments. So before we get to that, let's go over our settings. Just like the previous HDR preset, you're going to see the same thing except it's dialed down to 50. So we have contrast at 50, highlights and whites at negative 50, shadows and blacks at plus 50. Again, with clarity, this is a soft portrait preset, so we're dropping the clarity a little bit. We're dropping vibrance and saturation, and we're fixing our HSL so that we don't get too many reds. Now let's just, you know, for giggles, let's take a look and see what would happen if it wasn't minus out. And now we're getting a lot of funky skin tones. Look at the foreheads. Look at the highlights to the shadows. We have all these crazy reds and oranges. Look at the skin tone down here. It just does not look good. And so I'm going to Command Z or Control Z on PC. Ooh, I flipped it around on you guys. All right, so we're going to undo and get back to where we were. And we have this nice 
toned down look to all those colors, okay? Again, the warmth is really gonna be a stylized thing. If you guys feel it looks too cool, uh, cool at this temperature, you guys can always warm up the image. I'm kind of going for that look here because I think it looks awesome. All right, the tone curve, I want it to be, uh, well, I don't want it to be with the preset. It's the standard S curve that is adding a little bit of contrast overall. Let's go down in our detail. We have 70, 1.5, 10, and 30, our standard settings. Let's zoom in. We can actually see a little bit of this green popping off in this, uh, in the background, well, in his glasses. All right, uh, let's take a look. I really like the sharpening where it's at. It's, this is a very, very sharp image and it looks totally fine. I don't need to do any extra sharpening. Noise reduction also seemed to look totally fine too. Let's take a look. Yeah, we don't need any extra. It's good where it's at. All right, so everything is good there. Our lens vignetting is set to uh, 30 and 30. Again, this just kind of reverses and make sure that we don't have any uh, of this darkening, especially when it's close to their foreheads, it's not gonna look good. All right, if we do want any ad additional darkening, we're gonna either use a radial filter or a graduated brush to apply it in the areas that we want to apply it. Did I say graduated brush? <laughs> graduated filter, whatever guys. All right, let's go back up to the top. What we're gonna do now is start making some more adjustments. Okay, well, let's take a look by the way real quick. Before we do that, let's just hit backslash. Here's the before where we're at, kind of that very natural studio look. Here's our the beginning of kind of this, you know, candied HDR look that we're creating. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in and let's grab, we can either do a clothing or texture or general all purpose. I'm gonna start with general all purpose and let's flip and see. We'll see which one is more pleasing to the eye. Again, I'm gonna apply this generously when I go over the image first and then uh, I'm gonna flip between these two and just see which one I like better. So let's go to clothing texture. I think I like the clothing texture better. It does a better job with clothing and texture, which is what it's designed for. But I like to always tweak and see which one you know I might like on a particular image. Now, while holding down Alt or Option on a Mac, we're gonna shrink down our eraser brush and we're gonna bring that right over our skin tones, okay? We wanna get the skin tones back to where we started. So let's just take all that little nastiness off. I'm gonna hit O to bring up my uh, overlay. And I'll give it a little better job of, make it a little easier here. All right, get it off the neckline. Again, we're gonna go over his son. Got a cute kid. Great blue eyes, amazing. Awesomely awesome. All right, that's looking good. I think this is a, a, a mixed baby. I think him and his wife are different ethnicities. I always feel like mixed babies look awesome. They have a great look to them. All right, but that is my theory on babies and not on post-production. So let's get back to the fact at hand. <laughs> Some of you might think that I'm narrating over this video. I'm not, I'm just uh, talking <laughs> while actually working, which is probably a bad thing because I say ridiculous stuff all the time. All right, let's go over here. Okay, let's just pull it off all the skin. Again, we can go and fine tune if we want to just by getting in closer. I don't really wanna fine tune right now because it's gonna take a long time and we're not, you know, you guys understand the theory behind this. I don't want you to have to sit through 30 minutes of fine tuning or it's not gonna take that long, but either way. All right, so let's hit O. And what I might do is just zoom in and make sure that in certain areas, like you basically wanna just make sure that you don't have any, um, kind of areas like this where you have the effect being applied and then coming off on the shirt where it's very visible. So to me, this is kind of visible where we see basically the effect applied here, but then it comes off over in this little area. So I'm just gonna reapply it there so it gets a little bit more nat a little bit more like even. Same thing here. This kind of stuff is not gonna be noticeable unless you're blowing up the image or unless you're particularly anal like me. All right, let's take it off of the hair. Actually, whoops, I went too far. I wanna remove it from the hair on the skin side here just because the hair is kind of getting this uh, little chromatic aberration action. I don't want that. Okay, that looks okay. All right, this is looking pretty solid right now. Let's take a look at uh, what we had before. Here's our before, here's our after. We have this nice pop, vivid look to his clothing and everything. What I might do at this point is let's just flip through and I, I love using the preset system because it reminds me of things that I might've forgotten. So I'm gonna look at the retouching and see if there's anything in here that I wanna do. If this was a girl, you know, we'd be retouching it completely different than if it's a guy and his son because we want it to kind of have that grungy vibe to it. So I'm not worried really about doing any sort of skin retouch or anything like that. Um, I think everything is good there. What I might do is just go and uh, grab this little spot healer and we're just gonna kind of fix this little spot on his skin. He's a working guy, so he's got a, he's got a little bit of his hands, you know, they're not, they're not hands like mine. I, I avoided manual labor my entire life and so I have the hands of a woman, which is awesome. I love smooth hands. <laughs> I'm just kidding, my wife. 
I don't know if she likes my smooth hands or not. All right, so this is looking pretty solid right here. Again, at this point, if we want to tweak our temperature, we can if we want to, but uh, I think I do dig that cooler vibe that I'm going for here. One more thing I wanna do. Let's grab a graduated filter and let's go to a negative 0.5 stop. And we're just gonna pull this up from the bottom just to kind of bring attention to the top of the frame. I'm gonna hold down shift just to constrain it to our horizontal uh, line there. And then I'm just gonna reduce the effect here. And if we want, we can use a radial filter over their faces to kind of do this, uh, something similar, you know, where we're kind of just bringing in attention in the faces. But I wanna make sure that it's really kind of more on the subtle side and not kind of too over the top. So let me see if I like this look. And uh, let's just adjust the feather. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I like it or not. I kind of just, let's see. No, it does look a little bit better. Let's leave it in and let's just dial it down a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave it in. We're just gonna dial it down like 0.3. All right, and this is kind of our stylized HDR portrait. So remember, these presets can be used for more than just you know the standard type of environmental portrait. It can also be used on studio portraits, but just make sure that you watch your skin tones very carefully. Make sure that you're you're not going over the top, and use it on images that deserve it. You know, use it for people that are looking for that look, and you're trying to go for that effect. So here's that before, and here's our final. Well, here's the before, and here's our final after. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you all in the next video.